Hello guys, welcome to another awesome video about TST Bank. Okay, and uh, today I want to talk about how to make withdrawal to your external wallet. Okay, and uh, we are still looking into the brokerage aspect of it, which is uh, uh, how to buy and selling of TST through the TST Bank app. Okay, so but uh, we will you know drop more information about that before uh the first okay but today i want to talk about how to make withdrawals okay how to make withdrawals from the tst uh, bank app okay so uh, you know like i explained to you guys on how the how to how the banks how the tst bank work in 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 relation to how your local bank works okay if you want to make any withdrawal like cash withdrawal okay back to your wallet you walk up to the bank either the ATM, okay, or you walk up to the bank's, uh, to the bank uh, cashier and tell them, hey, I might want to make a withdrawal. You submit your withdrawal request, okay, and they credit you immediately, okay. So in the case of TST, okay, TST Bank, okay, if you want to make a withdrawal, you still have to contact the customer service, okay. Okay, you tell the customer service, hey, I want to make a withdrawal, and you want to make a withdrawal to your local or to your trust wallet or in toku or metamask okay this is how much i like to withdraw to that account and also this is the wallet address to credit me to credit me okay so the the cashier will tell you what your fee is okay and your fee all right will be deducted in tst all right, your fee would be deducted in the TST. Now, the fee formula is 1% of your TST plus network fee. Okay, 1% of your TST plus the net network fee. Okay, because uh, let's say you want to withdraw maybe 100 TST or maybe 1000 TST. Okay, it is 1% of the 1000 TST or 100,000 TST. Plus the network fee now will be charged in Ethereum. Okay, so um, that's the charge. That's how the charge looks uh, looks like. Okay, one percent plus the network fee. So if the network fee is five dollars, five dollars in TST will be deducted from you plus the one percent. Okay, so um, that's the that's the fee for withdrawing okay for withdrawal all right so uh part of the reason why i'm doing this is because i'm saying this is because so that people will understand the cost of withdrawal okay so that if you if you have uses for the tst and you can use the tst directly from within the app okay then you have uh how do i call it then probably there won't be need to make withdrawal okay but if you want to make withdrawal okay this is the cost okay so it's very simple just contact the customer service let them know the customer service will tell you hey this is how much fee it will cost to do the transaction if you okay it it will be processed it's that simple it doesn't require a form part of the reason we're, we're not putting up a form for withdrawal is because is because you can interact with the agent and it will be done ASAP. Okay, when you submit forms and you have a lot of people submitting forms, it becomes cumbersome. But when you are live there with the agent and discussing about withdrawal, the agent will be able to process it immediately. Okay, without having to wait, maybe well, without wasting time or trying to go through paperwork of you know trying to sort out your form and stuff like that no you charge the agent tell them how much you want to withdraw tell them at uh, your local your trust wallet or imtokun or metamask okay give them the address they want to, they have to credit they will give you the cost if it's okay with you then let them go ahead and credit you all right guys uh, that's it for this video just it's just very short video just want to let you guys know and most importantly i uh, want to also point out something that we did recently okay if you click on the menu okay if you click on the menu uh, most of you might not see the tst bank statistics because it's only open to 
uh, the admin of the TST bank. Okay, but if you click on TST accepted, what it means is platforms where you can spend your TST. You'll find that there is FODMAT Best, there is OB Forest Trading, there is the Math app, and there is Watch and Earn. Okay, so you can click on them and it will open up to those platforms. Okay, but it does not mean that your wallet is linked to, on those platforms. No, it will take you to those platforms. Okay, so that you can easily, let's say you want to make payment. Okay, and you're being given an address to make payment to. Okay, maybe you are given uh, the username of Fortnite Bets or the username of OB Forex to be able to make payment to. Okay, you can easily navigate back to your TST Bank app and make the payment from there. Okay. Uh, this last part, which is watch and end, I will do a separate video for it and explain it all together to you guys. Okay, all right, guys. Um, I think that's all. Uh, OB Forex Trading, uh, the OB Forex Trading is kind of, is available, but right now we are not promoting it because we want to kick it off on the first. Okay, which means the very day that is the deadline for for the deadline for the discount okay we'll make it open we'll start making it open for investors or those who want to invest to come and invest okay so guys uh, that's it for this video I want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time take care and bye for now